Hey guys, Jarek here and welcome to Ember Skip. Today I'm gonna pick some random piece of ember from the box and then I'm gonna polish it. And I hope you don't mind the polishing content because I don't really have anything else right now prepared. So yeah, let's go and pick the piece. This is gonna be our piece, so let's go and inspect it. Let's make it wet first so we can see inside a little bit better and inspect it. And <laughs> there is some sort of black blobs inside, but it might be just sand. Like for now, it's impossible to say we will be able to see it only after removing the oxidized crust with the Dremel rotator tool. The front is looks like there is nothing wrong going on. Not much going on from the sides, little bit of the hole in here. And yeah, there is no need to waste any time. Let's just remove the front of it. Just a random tip when polishing amber. If RPM of your rotary tool or polishing wheel is over 20,000, the ember will start to melt. The only option then is to polish it underwater or use less RPM. I will quickly use 600 grit on this one and then sandpaper to see if there's anything inside. So should I be worried when dremeling this side or not? So that's 600 done. We can see blobs a little bit better and for now it looks like sand. Yeah, so let's go to the sanding. 1500 grit. And after this one I should see everything clearly, if there's anything. Because right now it's still not sure if it's inclusions or just sand, you know? Yeah, so let's begin. Instantly, much better. And what is that? Still can't see properly. Let's do a little bit more. Not washed off. What do you think, guys? A beetle or not? Hmm. I think that's not a sand, maybe a beetle, but <laughs> at this point we will need a microscope, but before we can do that, let's, let's finish it up. So this thing is, is probably a beetle, so we should be careful from this side. Yep. So let's begin dremeling the other side. After taking a glimpse inside the ember, after doing a window in it, I saw that not much going on inside, with exception of that tiny black beetle-like object. In reality, 99% of inclusions in ember are common pee flies and pee beetles. Rare and big finds are very unlikely. This black blob is our beetle-like object, so I have to be careful about this one because it's as always quite close to the surface. So I did equip 600 grid Dremel again and will try to do a final pre-polish. 
and then we will go to the polishing of the piece. We have to clean up the table a bit before polishing the piece, because we don't want any dust while polishing the amber. And the polishing is done. And unfortunately, <laughs> inside there is not much. That beetle like object is actually not a beetle, it is a seed husk, empty one. And there is also two more pee pee flies. So, yeah, <laughs> that just confirms that, you know, not in every ember you can find some cool inclusions. And he, as I said before, 99% of inclusions are very common pee pee flies and 99% of ember in generally don't have any inclusions at all, so they are quite rare. So this is still a nice piece because, you know, ember is beautiful as it is, even without cool inclusions. But since I'm kinda used to show you some nice insects in ember, I have prepared two pictures or more like two insects. The first one is a hemiptera. A hemiptera is a true bug. And this one is a predatory one. It has long proboscis that it was catching the prey and sucking out the fluids out of it. And <laughs> his head reminds me a little bit of the gnat bug. And the second one is quite a rare one. It is an isopoda. Isopodas are really rare in amber. And look at the preservation and the colors in this one. Magnificent. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, I was thinking of doing a giveaway of this piece, so uh, if you want it, uh, try to guess how much it weighs. And someone who, who will guess it right first, or, or will be the closest to the actual size, will win the piece. So let the comments with the weight, and I will announce the winner in the next video. So that's it for the video, guys. Like and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy it. And see you next time. Bye.